Ruby Ana Gabriel hopes the case against her for her role in the 2017 independence push will be shelved or sent to Barcelona. The politician testified today before Spain's Supreme Court just months following her surprise return from Switzerland. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. The far-left politician was, unlike the formerly imprisoned MPs and officials convicted of sedition, only charged with disobedience, meaning no international arrest warrants were ever put out for her, as it does not carry a prison sentence. Mai s'hagués hagut de produir la judicialització del que és una aspiració legítima d'un poble. Uh, la repressió crea dolor, però és veritat que la solidaritat antirepressiva és la tendresa de les militants. The two government allies had yet another row after ANC civic group's proposal to declare independence by the end of 2023. While the senior ally Esquerra says it's infeasible and a rushed idea, Junts doesn't rule it out. Barcelona has seen a drop in thefts and violent robberies this summer compared to 2019, the last one with a similar amount of tourists. Yet, arrests for sexual violence have gone up by 71%. És evident que Barcelona com a gran ciutat té problemes de seguretat, però que està actuant, que està tenint bons resultats i que clarament la tendència és el descens. A new edition of the Born Street Food Fair will take place between September 30th and October 2nd in Barcelona's Born neighborhood. Some of the local area's finest restaurants will get together for some tastings. The Vic Live Music Market Festival is back this week, showcasing local emerging talents. Over 60 free or 3 euro concerts will take place as part of the Central Catalan City's event. Ever wondered where your food comes from? Want to discover the world of farming? To the Girona area's Bambinguts a Pagès Festival on October 1st and 2nd for a chance to tour local farms and eat delicious seasonal products.